Both ZBE and Wi-Fi share the same bandwidth. Only there are no congestions and reliance on a manufacturer's address when it comes to ZigBee. Again, did you know that digital assistances are not smart hubs but smart microphones? We will tell you the differences between the two networks and how to get ZigBee to perform better. Here is ZigBee versus Wi-Fi. Number 6. Crowding An issue with Wi-Fi devices is that they commonly operate on a 2.4 GHz bandwidth. This bandwidth is often overcrowded since every household has a Wi-Fi router. Thus, your devices would experience disruption every once in a while. To illustrate, you may notice that you pick up your neighbor's Wi-Fi signal when searching for yours. That means the waves are present around you, and those waves in your household crowd the waves operating on that bandwidth. As well, by crowding your Wi-Fi, we mean that you are contesting it with multiple devices. This increases the load on your network and impacts your day-to-day Wi-Fi utility. Additionally, IP conflicts generate from compounding too many devices as your dynamic host configuration protocol. This would require configuration for each device to have its static IP. That is a lot of work and something you would altogether avoid if you were on Zigbee, for instance. Even when crowded, Zigbee is still ahead since it is not at the mercy of the manufacturer's support. There are ways a Zigbee can be expanded and improved, and we will present more on that shortly. Number 5. Router and an Internet Connection While it is true that you ideally install a smart home system over the Internet, indeed, they operate as we use a smartphone or tablet over the Internet. Therefore, if all smart homes require an Internet connection, how could this be a bad thing? The truth is you should not be dependent on the Internet for it to function. Wi-Fi devices typically rely on your router being up and no IP conflicts. In addition, Wi-Fi devices stop working the minute your Internet connection is lost. This would create a major inconvenience if you relied on a device to work. Your entire work can be lost because maybe your router acted up. Essentially, you lose connection to those Wi-Fi devices and may not have another way to reach them. Thankfully, the Zigbee network performs without needing a network provider's IP to stay active always. Number 4. Expandable System To avoid future frustration and struggle, you should aim for a Zigbee hub. Many hubs support the protocol since it is universal. Zigbee hubs cannot suddenly become obsolete due to the manufacturer's decision. Whereas with Wi-Fi devices, that can be the case. Therefore, a scalable and expandable protocol that does not rest at the mercy of your manufacturer's support is ideal. As of now, Zigbee's protocol seems like a viable option for a long time. Number 3. Requires a hub Home automation systems need a centralized system. You can centralize a hub to achieve this automation, to act as the brain of the entire house, to control, connect, and communicate with all the smart home devices. You might need a Zigbee tutorial to see how this works in graphics. Meanwhile, Amazon Alexa and Google Assistants are not hubs. If anything, they are advanced microphones that process everything on the cloud. A hub makes controlling your devices from the same place easier. Your Wi-Fi does not do this. Although a Wi-Fi accommodates all the individual devices, it might be too accessible. Its singular control and how easily it connects to different networks reduces the concept of a smart hub and home into an open source. We will share more with you on how Zigbee retrofits properly. Number 2. Standby Power Consumption People assume that home automation systems allow you to save energy, yet standby power consumption is a genuine concern. Smart home systems with modules installed all over the house effectively reduce your standby power consumption. In fact, Zigbee modules have a reputation for being conservative regarding standby power consumption. Therefore, this option is effective, especially if you are going for an extensive network of devices. Number 1. Ability to Retrofit A wise Tumblr user once said, Home is where the Wi-Fi connects automatically. A Wi-Fi system is easily retrofitted. A retrofitted is where a system that can easily accommodate and is compatible with your existing setup and infrastructure. Zippy systems require a neutral wire to power up the modules. 
Similarly, Zigbee modules tend to control circuits and not singular lights or power sockets. Altogether, it is compatible with more but does not accept and give access to all. For those who want to automate a few house functions, a quick and reliable solution can be Wi-Fi. However, for the enthusiast, going for a more solid foundation using Zigbee can ensure increasing the scope of automation. Now, we have three tips on how to improve your Zigbee network reach in the automation system. Once you have these three devices, your Zigbee development tutorial will follow, increasing your Zigbee network performance tremendously. Before we get into that, please subscribe to our channel for more. Number 3. Zigbee Smart Bulbs As an example, if someone turns off the bulb using the switch, the Zigbee network could experience challenges. Obviously, no one should be turning off a smart bulb with a mechanical switch, but nobody should be carrying a gun in schools either. But here we are. If you need to get a Zigbee signal outside, bulbs are a good option. Just be sure no one powers them off. Number 2. Zigbee Smart Plug Smart plugs are another excellent extender. Once they are plugged in, a Zigbee network is extended. Since most modern homes have electrical outlets everywhere, it makes it easy to position smart plugs around the home to get superb coverage. Number 1. Zigbee Dedicated Repeater Lastly, these repeaters, powered from the wall, can improve your Zigbee network. Some have a USB plug, while others plug directly into the wall. Do you know how Zigbee works? Find out here. This is how Zigbee actually works. Zigbee Technology Explained 